Ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to announce that a doctor is coming for one month. If the doctor chooses to stay here, we get the factory. What do the factory make? They make jobs. Who wants to work again? Now we have to make Dr. Paul Lewis believe that Ticklehead is the finest place to call home. Enjoy our beautiful harbor. All I'm asking is to adopt a flirtatious attitude towards the doctor. No. Hello, I'm Paul. Terrific. I'm not talking about intercourse. Intercourse. Finding money. Nothing makes me happier. I mean, you're walking along, and then bam, there's five bucks just lying there. Did you just find that? I just found it right there. The doctor loves cricket. Is this for real? Don't think Jesus. What do we do? We have no idea how to play cricket. Yeah! Both teams won. Let's get back to the boat. Well, thanks for taking the time today. Really course, appreciate man. it. Loved your work for ages now. Cool. Um, and it's nice to see you in a role like this because it does two things that you don't normally get a chance to do. Uh, the first of which I wanted to talk about was you got a chance to play a little bit with comedy because it's a very right. funny movie. Yeah. And quite often you don't get you don't get cast in comedy. Right. So what's yeah. it like getting the opportunity to to cut a little more loose with this? I one? loved it. I loved it. I kind of jumped at it when I had the opportunity and and to work with Brendan Gleeson and Pinsent and and Mark and. The whole cast is great, and um, I don't know. I love waking up and going to work with this guy. He's he's he was a blast, and he's hard to break. He's that good, you know. And it's it would test me, and I I I'm a guy who loves to push the envelope, no matter the tone, and and I would try and break him, man. And I, it was tough if I did at all. Yeah, and I mean, I, I talked to to the other guys already, and they both said it was very. Leanne said it was very hard to reject you, and Brendan said it was very hard to lie to you. <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's kind of interesting that they would say that about you, and you have to sort of... Me or the doctor? Well, the doctor, yeah. yes. <laughs> yeah. But, uh... um, no, I mean, definitely. I think that's... I want them to... I want it to be difficult, you know? That means I'm kind of doing my job. And uh, one of the thing, the other things that's interesting is in this film you get to play the uptight guy when right. normally you would play like you usually get cast in sort of the towny role. You would have been yeah. one of the people from this <laughs> yeah. community and not not the guy that sort of yeah, you know, true. That's a good point. Yeah. Um, that's where the humor lies as well. You know, I love that they gave him a bit of a cocaine habit as well, uh, which was pretty darn funny to play. Um, I just I don't know. It was a lot of fun to dive into, and I think. That comedy is more situational than like boom boom joke, you know, um, which is important to me. And that's Brandon's specialty, how good he is with that dry humor. And, and just to kind of go along that ride with him was awesome. Yeah, it's weird because that, that scene at the beginning, which sort of brings you to the town yeah. where you're fumbling through the airport. Like that's the guy that would you'd kind of want the whole movie, you know what I mean? You wouldn't think that that guy's a doctor or whatnot. Yeah, it was a weird yeah. sort of callback to Tim Riggins in a way because that's sort of wow. the same way that he would sort of fumble his way through through that sort Everyday of situation. Life. Yeah. Um, except it would be booze and not coke. Yes. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, I, I never thought of it that way. Yeah, they're definitely fun guys to play, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, and uh, when I talked to Don over the summer about mm -hmm. the movie, he told me it was like the most gorgeous time of year to actually be shooting out there, and he said you were particularly taken by how how nice it was out uh there. yeah absolutely i mean it, we had the best summer on record i think in the past like 10 to 15 years of where they start getting this silly amount of rain so we definitely made the best of it you know hiking fly fishing whale watching it, it was amazing to be out there yeah and it seems like a nice little community to sort of get into especially as an outsider playing an outsider yeah. in there it seems yeah. like a really welcoming sort of place. So what's it like being in this in this really small harbor community already? It's it's really a character on its own right in the film too, you know. It's definitely simplified your lifestyle, which I love and I think all of us can can use once in a while and and um, you know, to be with one of my best mates and to be, you know, training and and just, you know, it, it was great. It simplified it on a great level. You know, not using your phone 90% of your day. Try it. You know what I mean? It's tough. We're always on it, and so, but when we were there, it was it was refreshing. Yeah, 
And the last thing I wanted to talk to you about before I got to go is uh, one of the main themes of the film is this theme of accommodation and sort of making people feel welcome and making them feel special even mm -hmm. if they're getting lied to. Right. Now, I think when you're in a creative environment, like whether you do what I do or you're a writer, you're an actor, you're mm -hmm. a director, there are always those moments where people will sort of go above and beyond to try to make yeah. you feel special on something. So I was just wondering, on all the things that you've worked on, is there anything that really sticks out that was a moment where people sort of went above and beyond yeah. to make you feel Absolutely. really welcome? Uh, I was super nervous uh, going to Australia to shoot Wolverine. And um, I, I'll never forget it. And Hugh Jackman's become a dear friend of mine. And uh, the first moment he was on set and he had this big Tupperware container um, of dried chicken, broccoli, and brown rice, of course. Um, and he was just, I came from behind and he was just sitting there and in his leather jacket, and he's a big boy. He's a good 6'3 plus, and um, I was just nervous, and to come in there and contribute at that level was a big deal for me. So um, he was the most gracious, open, and uh, guy you'll ever meet. And on or off screen, he's a guy with an aura that will make you better, you know? And, and um, I rem I'll never forget that. Yeah, he was, he was incredibly welcoming. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, man. Cool. Really appreciate it. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Nice to see you again. Bye. Thanks for taking the time to talk to me today. Thank really you. Really enjoyed Bye. the movie quite a bit. It's a lot of fun. Um, first of all, it's a very interesting kind of role to be playing in a movie like this because it's it's sort of a love interest, but not really <laughs> a, a love interest. It's someone that's trying to um, not do what the rest of the community is, which is to try to make someone feel really accommodated, and that's one of the main themes of the film. So, what's it like? sort of playing the one person in town who's really sort of skeptical of you everything know, going on. It's not really fun. I didn't get to be a part of the seduction. <laughs> I had to keep rejecting Taylor Kitsch. It wasn't it wasn't the best situation to be in, but I understand like my character didn't want to be a part of the seduction. She didn't believe in it. She didn't believe in the lie that everyone was telling. She didn't it's off to um, get a factory to come to the town and she doesn't even believe in the factory. So it really didn't make sense for her. But on a shooting kind of perspective, it would have been like fun to get involved in the seduction with all the other actors and like all the amazing things that they do in the film to try to convince the doctor that this is a great place to be. It would have been fun to be a part of all of the shenanigans going on, but no. No, I wasn't a part of that. I was like, Man, I'm not interested. No, I don't believe in this. But you do a very credible job of, of turning Taylor down because he's he's a very charming guy and you can see him being really charming. Well, watching the film, I'm like, what are you doing? Like, what are you doing? Stop, stop slamming the door in his face. But then, I, but then when, I mean, I don't know if I'm revealing anything here, but the idea is that he thinks that I'm in love with him. So the more I reject him, the funnier it is. Like, if this film is all about dramatic irony, right? Like, the audience being in on the joke that the lead character isn't, which is that everyone's coming together to, like, pull off this big lie that this town is the best place for him to live and they're all catering everything to his every whim. So it's I think it's really, really funny that the more I, like, push him away, the more he's led to believe that, I, that I'm in love. Yeah. And you also have to stand up to Brendan Gleeson at every turn as well because he's trying to push you in the direction to, to sort of do something with Taylor's character. So what's it like trying to uh, always put down Brendan Gleeson's best ideas? <laughs> he's really seductive and charming, too. It's hard. It's hard. But from a character's perspective, it's like, are you nuts? No, like, like, that doesn't make sense. I can understand it from from Kathleen, my character's point of view, but but he's a very, very persuasive Person. He's very charming. It's not easy. Yeah. And when I talked to Don about the film uh, last year, one of the things I said is it was one of the nicest times that uh, for weather that it was yeah. out there. And he said it was just probably the most gorgeous time of year. It that was he probably, could shoot. yeah. We kept hearing from all of the locals that we got so lucky that we had the best summer in decades that we really lucked out. Um, it was beautiful. It was it's stunning. Like when you see the film, you see the landscape. It's just breathtaking. Yeah, and what's it like sort of working within that landscape because you have to play someone who's been a local for a long time and it, the film has a really lived-in quality to it that I think is really hard to fake. So what's it like sort of coming into this community, this gorgeous place, and sort of using the place as a character that you get a chance to work with as well? It's just the, the, a dream as an actor to get to shoot on location somewhere as beautiful and welcoming as 
the Trinity, the Trinity area of Newfoundland where we shot. Um, and uh, it's great. I just, I'm really lucky that I get to play someone from there. I get to play a character from rural Newfoundland. Um, it's, it's a dream is what it is. It's just the best. I, I, I'm so lucky. And one of the last things I wanted to talk to you about before I go is the theme of the film is sort of just being really open to try to bring new people in, even if you have to lie to do it. Um, <laughs> so I think when you're in the entertainment industry, there are a lot of times when you get moments where people will be super accommodating to you and do things that sort of go above and beyond. So what's one thing that you've worked on or that you've had happen in your life that's made you feel really special when you've when you've worked on something that you kind of step back and is sort of humbling and was like, wow, that was really nice. Oh my gosh, so many, so many things. I, 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 it's hard to think of um, just one gesture, but I think what's the best thing about working on a show, a production, is if you make friends that you keep after the production is over, that is really rare and really special. Well, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank